Good morning. Welcome back to Casa Tex Pina. We're on bill day number ooh, 211, 211. It's uh, Thursday, so we're just uh, cruising along with uh, the rest of the work here. Um, our normal work crew is already in place. Uh, so when the subcontractors start showing up, I'll show you what they're working on. Um, but in the interim, um, let's walk around and see where everybody's at. So let's get started. Starting out this morning, we got a lot of business going on on this side of the house in the garage area. Uh, we got two of our painters, Mr. Ricky and Mr. Lloyd, uh, helping out over here where they're doing the uh, little bit more filling. Uh, they saw some uh, unsmooth or imperfections in the uh, top, so they're gonna hit it again with a little bit more uh, fill and putty and sand it down and hit it again. So. Keep doing it until we get it right. Right? Yeah. All right, let's go on inside. Uh, we got a couple things going on here in the garage area. Um, Mr. Willie here is getting started in the uh, laundry room or in the utility room with the help of Mr. Jason. We're getting ready to start putting the, uh, the countertop here on the uh, utility room side with a cabinet down this side for you know chemical storage uh cleaning supplies that sort of thing over here washer and dryer will go here in the corner at a later date <coughs> on the other location mr jojo is starting out with the uh wall tiles here in the maids cr or the uh, garage restroom however you want to call it um, our window prepper or our door preppers uh varnishes uh mr Henry is on site uh, working with the uh, prepping doors. Mr. Andy is off site uh, gain, gathering materials. So let's go ahead and walk on inside here. We've got in the dirty kitchen, Mr. Ferdy is continuing with baseboards all around the, he started on one corner and just working his way around the room. Okay, then coming back out here into the uh, living room. Mr. Allen is starting to work on the fabrication of the, uh, the designs for the uh, front of the breakfast bar. So it's kind of trial and error. He's, uh, he tried one thing, didn't like it, so he's gonna try something else. And it's gonna look like uh, three or four, or four or five little uh, picture boards here. Should be a nice look. Uh, Mr. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. Alex is still working on the columns they added in the additional boards at the top to uh, finish that up. Um, so they're uh, smoothing those out and getting them ready for uh, prepping and painting. Speaking of prepping doors, this is Mr. Henry back up here in the front. <coughs> they are still working on the uh, side lights, uh, the side windows and uh, transoms. Uh, so working on that as well as the other door that he was working out in the front uh, out in the garage so he's kind of hitting a couple places at once back here in the main, oh, master closet mr wilson will be busy doing lots of roller painting today so we're doing sanding and painting uh, all throughout the master's closet we're letting uh, the tub area rest today. Right, let's go take a look back in the uh, guest side of the house. Mr. Stanley was up in the <coughs> stairwell. They're still finishing the front part of the stairs underneath the stairs. So between the stair tread and the next stair down, uh, that's what he's uh, skim coating, sanding and painting. Uh, getting those ready uh, so that'll keep him busy today <coughs> and in the guest room Mr. Jell was up here uh, sanding and painting getting ready to paint the uh, bottom of the cornice so the rest of the ceiling area uh, one of the other carpenters as well Mr. Francis is working inside of the uh, uh, inside of the 
walk-in closet for bedroom two. And coming back out into the hallway, Mr. JR is working uh, Macias on the door frames, or the door casings around the frames, so we're getting those all smoothed in. Filling in, using the Macias to fill in the, uh, the crevices and cracks uh, right up in between here. So all the joints are gonna be covered. Our any guys have showed up today and we're bringing in gifts. We got the uh, quartz for the Master CR. So they're gonna get ready to unload that, put it where it belongs. And they're gonna start working on it on outside before going in, so just to give you a look. Yeah. And today we've got quartz. This is the uh, quartz for the Master CR. They're going to walk it over to the other side of the property here. And start working with what little bit of shade we've got in that corner. Um, so if they get started, they're going to start working on the uh, two laboratories and the for the his and her inside of the master bath. We'll see this uh, throughout the day. Okay, back here on the uh, back porch, it is inevitable that sometimes you will have, after the uh, tiles have been put in place, uh, some of them crack. So our, uh, our good foreman is keeping an eye out on these and he had one that cracked here, one over here. So what they're doing, they pulled them out. They're gonna start those two over from scratch and uh, redo it. So. Good, keep, good keeping an eye out from our uh, from our foreman. All right, in the uh, utility room, we're starting to put in the uh, bracing and the forms for the uh, countertop that's going to go here. So we're going to have a uh, uh, sink, all countertop, cabinets above on both sides, um, a large cabinet that's going to go down the side this way, and washer and dryer here so plenty of space out in the utility room get a little taste for what the uh, wall tiles are going to look like so we're going to go with the colored pattern two going to go up a little bit more then going to put the colored pattern in again looking good so far yeah so he's got more tiles to go just getting the initial look all right looks like our four seasons are done underneath the bar well, it's not four seasons. It's supposed to be a design, but I'm making fun of it because it looks like four seasons. Okay, so that's uh, ready to be Macias and painted and all that other fun stuff prepped for paint. Let's go take a look and see what else is going on out here. Looks like Mr. Wilson's moving locations. It should be. <laughs> Mr. Alex is starting to put in the sides for our under sink cabinets. Uh, so they're doing flush mount on both sides. Uh, make sure that uh, we have room for the uh, dryer or the dishwasher to slide right in. Okay. No. Take a look out here in the maids CR, our tile is, wall tile is coming along. All right, and over here on this side, our utility room, getting ready for the cabinet. All right, in bedroom number two, we've got door casings on, and the baseboards and Mr. JR is putting in Macias or the uh, gypsum putty uh, make sure it's all filled and in the next room see if we can cut through here in the next room in bedroom number three Mr. Francis is putting in the baseboards and door casings one Step at a time. We got a nice cross breeze. Y'all can't see it or feel it, but man, it feels good in here. All right, so here in the uh, master's bath, they've got the first piece, first uh, portions of the cabinet 
almost ready to go in, so they're just kind of here setting. This is kind of, um, they're still gonna put the top over it and the sink is gonna come back just a little bit more so that they've got space on the other side for the backsplash and uh, faucet right here. And continuing here on the inside of the master's closet, uh, Mr. Wilson is continuing painting. And yes, my little small portion of the closet. <laughs> Yay! All right, Mr. Ricky is still working on painting. We're working our way around. This is obviously first coat because you can still see some of the gray underneath from the primer. So this is first coat going through. Uh, still working on the fence grills. And over here on the side of the house, <coughs> our uh, two varnishers are still working on the main front door, uh, getting it ready to put on the uh, two more coats of uh, varnish, clear coat. So they're getting it prepped, ready to go. And in here in the um, garage, our foreman is working on the doorstep that's going to step underneath the door, so the threshold basically. Um, so we're continuing with the tile from outside right up to the door and then on the inside will be a continuation of the floor tile right up to the edge. All right, so. Okay, so we got the uh, first undermount sink for the masters uh, set. Uh, so they've got the edging around the first, the first lip of the double riser. Um, and that gives us the height that we're gonna have for our countertop. They put a big bead of cement all the way around the side and that's what they set the uh, sink into so they'll let this dry for a little while um, before they put the uh, the actual countertop on uh, this is going to be an undermount sink so we are going to have a very small overlap from the top uh, maybe about um, half a centimeter so they said about uh, five millimeters right over the top so it's just going to be a very small overlap. <clears throat> so that way it's actually truly an undermount and then we'll come back and seal the underside with a, a silicone bead. Uh, so we'll take care, they'll take care of that a little later. But that's the first step. All right, so the uh, countertop has reached step two, which is um, they've now got the top portion on. So this is the second riser and this is double riser. Uh, this is just the dry fit. They'll come back later and take it off, measure out where the um, sink is going to go. And then that's all measured out. And the, uh, we will have a four inch backsplash along the back, something similar to this at a later point. That's on another step. So. Like I said, this is just the initial dry fit, just to make sure everything looks right and gets fitted. And then they're getting ready to do the same thing over here on the other sink. So just fitting the sides right now, fitting the corners. Uh, the, the first riser is what they're fitting around the sides. All right, so we got the, uh, almost got the forms all set up for the, Utility room countertop, sink countertop. And we got the hollow block wall on this side that's going to be the basis of support. And it's going to have concrete across the top. Nice big open sink in the middle. Granite countertop over this. There will be a linen style closet over here and cabinets across the top. So, more to come on this guy over the next couple days. All right, for here in the master bath, the hers has the countertop on it already. It's just sitting there though. They haven't put any uh, adhesive on it. They still got to take it off tomorrow and.
cut in the sink. Uh, for the his, for mine, um, they still have to make the top countertop and put the sink in before they cut the sink out. <laughs> so the same process that they did over here, they've got to do over here and they'll work on both of these again tomorrow. So that's a good starting point, good way, way to get started here in the master bath with the master bath countertops. All right guys, it's yabba dabba do time. They're taking off already and, uh, and we're gonna do about the same here. Um, we didn't get as far along on the um, master bath countertop that I thought we were going to get. Um, so we will continue that tomorrow. So we'll have master bath countertops day two uh, tomorrow. So make sure to look back in on that. We'll show you the rest of the, uh, the quartz install on the uh, master bath. Um, and lots of other things. So um, if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Pina Star right over here and you'll be subscribed hit the bell icon just below the view screen you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure so until we see you again tomorrow have a great afternoon and god bless may the schwartz be with you with you with you